Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus, you're so kind to us. The mercies that you allowed us to see day in and day out. Lord, things that we have, we do not deserve, God, but you're just so gracious towards us. You're so faithful towards us, so kind to us. Lord, we are forever indebted to you and your mercy, your love. Lord, we are so appreciative to you that we could just come together and praise you and lift your name on high. Lord, we've praised you, we worshiped you. Now, God, we pray, God, that you give us fresh bread, fresh manna from on high. Lord, give us, Lord, something to meditate on. Give us something to lean on. Give us something to hold on to. Lord, in this hour, God, I praise you for what you're going to do. Lord, we thank you for deliverance. Lord, we thank you in advance for healing. Lord, we thank you in advance, God, for progressing. And Lord, we'll praise you. Let the words of our mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, you are my strength. You are my redeemer. In Jesus' name, let us put our hands together and give him a praise one more time. Hallelujah. Amen. We could do a little better than that. Come on, we're talking about our Lord, our King. Amen. He deserves our worship. He deserves our praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Certainly, I'm going to give honor and respect to my pastor and father, Apostle C.A. Coward. Certainly thank God for our presiding bishop, Bishop McLeod, to our district bishop, Bishop Williams, our district elder, Nixon Philiston. Amen. To each and every one of you that sits in the body of Christ. Amen. Thank God to see our dear brother and friend, Jonathan, again. God bless you. We appreciate you coming again and being with us today. Amen. It's good to see Notorious. Amen. Bless you, sir. Good to see you today. Amen. You may be seated. Good to see Kiana. God bless you. All right. You may be seated in the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to talk from this message, Jesus the Tomb Raider. Jesus the Tomb Raider. Amen. Um, I was, amen, praying, and the Lord began to deal with me in regards to God having the ability to go to dead situations and bring them back to life. My God, I wish I had a few of y'all with me. You know, God is, amen, so wise that the first entrance that he makes on, amen, this here universe uh, when he makes an entrance, amen, out of creation, creating heaven and the earth, one of the first things that he brought into the atmosphere was something called light, which is also considered life. God came into a dark situation a dead situation and made life. My God. Jesus specializes in life because he is life. My God. And if you've ever had the opportunity to experience him, you'll know that he's brought life to situations. Amen. I'd like to begin in the book of Genesis, chapter number one. And I know you all probably know Tomb Raider as a video game or as a movie where there's a lady that's going in tombs and taking things out of the tomb, my God. 
And I believe that they may have stolen the idea from God because God is the one that go to tombs, my God, and said, death cannot live here. I'm going to produce life. Somebody shout life. My God, I wish I had a few of y'all with me. Amen. The book of Genesis chapter 1, and I love to go to Genesis because Genesis, the root word of Genesis is gene. Uh, and Genesis begins with, uh, uh, starts with the beginning of everything. And the first time we hear about God, the Bible talks about him. Not only was he there, his spirit was there, but the Bible also says that he moved. And movement is an indication of life. This is why it's very vital, my brothers and sisters, Amen. That while praise is going on, you should not be sitting still because it should be an indication that life is present. My God, I wish I had about 15 of y'all. Uh, sometimes, you know, the devil get in your mind and make you stand still and put you in a place where you cannot move. Stiffness is a sign of dying or decaying or death. But when I'm moving, it's an indication that I am alive. This is why the Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his what? People. So when I praise, I produce life. My God. Somebody shout hallelujah. And then God goes on, amen, while he was manifested in the flesh. He says that the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. But I am here that I may give life and that more abundantly. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, Right now is a good time to show that you have life. You ought to put your hands together and give them a praise. Amen. I find out that, amen, when we was in the world, it didn't matter how the song was produced. It did not matter the beat of the song. It did not matter if it was your favorite one, but whatever it was, whatever song it was, it caused you to move. My God, but I'm so glad that I'm alive. I don't need the key. I just need 15 of y'all. Just a few seconds. I step away from the Tomb Raider real quick. But I don't need a keyboard to, amen, indicate that I have life. I don't need, amen, Dante to beat the drum so I can show that I have life. I don't need Journey to say praise the Lord, everybody. I don't need Vante to say praise the Lord, everybody. But I came here with the praise in my heart. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. I don't know about you, but I am praised because I am alive. And if you could just take about three seconds and give God praise because you're still alive. My God, somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, the devil thought that he had me a few years. I just got to talk to a few people right quick. The devil thought he had me a few weeks ago, but my God, I'm still alive. He should have killed me when he had a chance. But I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I didn't come here to look at you. I didn't come here depressed, but I came to give God the glory. Hallelujah. This ain't no fashion show. I didn't come to look good. I didn't come to see who can sing the best. But I came to give God the glory because I'm still alive. Is there anybody in here to say I'm still alive? Anybody got a testimony to say that I should have died last year? I should have died last month. The accident should have took me out. The relationship should have took me out. But I'm so glad that I'm still alive. Somebody say hallelujah. Uh, you make the devil mad when you say you're alive. You make the devil mad when you clap your hands. You make the devil mad when you wait for joy because you see that he should have killed you. He could have killed you. He would have killed you. But it was your praise that kept you. I need to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it was my praise. That's why I'm still here. Because when I bring praise in the picture, I bring God into the picture. And I don't know if you... I don't know if you're going through anything right now, but I do. you put your hands together and give God a praise so God can come down on your head. My God, I didn't come here, amen, to tickle your fancy, but I, I came to give God the glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. My God, Genesis chapter 1. 
It's time to remind you what you came here for. You didn't come here for you. You didn't come here for me. You didn't come here for your boyfriend. You didn't come here for your girlfriend. But I came to lift him up. And the Bible says, if I be lifted up, my God don't have, my God, I don't care how you feel today. I don't care if you had a bad day. I don't care if you're sick in your body. I don't care if you got a headache. But the Bible says, I will bless the Lord, my God. At all times, and his praise shall continually. Anybody got a perpetual praise down on the inside of you? You don't care how bad it was. You could have got a flat tire this morning. Somebody could have called you with some bad news. But when I woke up this morning, I had praise on my mind. When I woke up this morning, I said, God, I'm going to give you the glory. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Put your hands together, give God a praise and shout glory. We got somebody say, Pastor, just gotta remind us sometimes. Genesis chapter one. Verse number one, we find that God comes on the scene. But God don't come on the scene stiff. Read, uh huh? Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Come on. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now, when we look at these words that are gathered here, when it talks about the earth, it says it's without form, and it was void, and it was dark. Yeah. Without form, void, and dark, it deals with death. Mm. So the earth was in a dead zone. Mm. My God. But there's only one person. I can go down there to that dead place and say, Death, you don't live here anymore. And I came to talk to a few of y'all that are letting your ministry die. Some of y'all are dying. Your spiritual life are dying. But I'm letting you know that there's a God that can step in that tomb, amen, and raid it and say, Death, I came to get you out of here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Read, uh huh. And the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God. Moved upon the face of the water. The Spirit of God. What did he do? Move. He moved. Look at somebody and say, God is a mover. God is a mover. Uh, you got the wrong neighbor. Look at somebody else and say, God is a mover. God is a mover. Uh, I'm going to throw this nugget out here. That's why God moved some of them people out your life. Amen. So that life could stay there. Sometimes we try to keep people around us, amen, and that person or those people can be your casket, my God, and not only the casket, but then you got a few of them that's laying on top of you, closing you down, but there's a God that can open up the tomb. Sometimes we keep people in our life, and they're killing us. My God, somebody shout hallelujah. Don't let nobody stay in your life that's killing you. They go home and have a good night's rest, and you tossing and toiling around you down there messed up in your mind. You can't even sleep good. You feel like you're decaying because of a person. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Don't you let a substance kill you. Sometimes we get addicted to certain things and it's killing us slowly. Don't you let that pornography kill you. My God, y'all ought to talk to me here. Read, uh-huh. Come on. And God said. And God said. Let there be light. So now when there was a dark place, God says, let there be what? Light. Light. And there was what? Light. Now this light that he's talking about, he's dealing with life. Mm -hmm. Give me the book of John chapter 1. The light. Amen, that he's talking about, 
and I don't want to go too far into it, but he was producing himself, which is life, into the atmosphere. Amen. Amen. We know that he's not talking about the sun, the moon, and the stars because that didn't get made until later, until the 14th verse. But this light here, he was talking about himself being produced into the atmosphere. Amen. So now we go down to John chapter 1. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, God is rolling the stone away. And this is the importance of Jesus when he died. Although they rolled the stone there, when he rose up, the stone was still there because he's the only one, amen, that can remove his own stone. My God, the Bible said that they went down there looking for him. He was already gone. They're trying to figure out, well, how did they move the stone? Because he's the tomb raider. He, he's the one that go in the tomb and pull out death and put life there. My God, somebody will shout hallelujah. John chapter 1, amen, and start at verse number 1. Uh -huh, read. In the, beginning in the beginning was the word. Yes. And the word was with God, and the word was God. Uh -huh. The same was in the beginning with God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. Yes. And without him was not anything made that was made. Watch this. This is the fourth verse. I want you to key in on this because it goes with Genesis chapter 1. Amen. And verse number 3, what we just read. Read, uh huh. In him was life. In him was what? Life. In him was what? Life. Life. Uh huh. And the life. And the life. Was the light. So of the men. Bible says that the life was the light. Hmm. So the light equals life, and life equals light. Wow. So when God, my God, when he said it's dead or it's dark, he said, if I produce myself, I'll bring life with me. <laughs> my God, I wish I had a few of y'all. And then God shows off, you know, God was showing off of his abilities. Then he started just talking to the waters and said, since I'm here and my spirit was on the waters, I could just say, you go ahead and bring forth abundantly. And when he said bring forth abundantly, it was life in the water. So now you got the fish, now you got the whales, you got the dolphins. Now all of these things are coming out because life was there. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, Jesus is life. And if you feel like you are dying, my God, you better know that there's a God to resurrect you. This is why it's very vital that when you feel like you're dying, you feel like you're at the worst of your worst, the lowest of your low, you say, you know what? I know I done spoke in tongues. I know I done been baptized in Jesus' name, but I still need a little more. Jesus, somebody shout hallelujah. I come to let you know today, amen, that I know that there's a few of you all that are in here that are on life support. I know a few of you all, amen, that are in here, amen, that are slowly dying, but there's a God that can resuscitate you. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Bible says that in him was, amen, life. Uh -huh. And the life was the light of men. And the life was the light of men, uh-huh. And the light shineth in darkness. And the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Uh -huh. Now, when we look at the Bible and how the first thing God does is that he brings life to a man. We'll later find out that this was God's woman. So now God creates a woman. And then he brings life to her. My God. And so then, even with that, he said, when I form this child that we're going to have together, he's dead. I'm looking at him. Amen. But in order for him to come to life, I got to blow in him. Yes. My God. See, one thing about dirt, dirt is dead. My God. Give me Genesis chapter number two. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, dirt is dead, and God, he showed off and got into the earth, brought the earth to life. Then when it came down to man, he looked at the dust on the ground and said, well, this is another, amen, dark, dead situation. 
And because it's dark and it's dead, I like to show up and show out. Anybody know God to be a show off? See, some of y'all ain't got no testimony. I ain't talking to y'all. But for those who got a testimony, you know that God's a show off. He'll wait until it's the, everybody done declared you dead. They done, hallelujah, they done ordered the flowers. They done got the funeral arrangements. And then God just shows up and says, no, uh-uh. It's been four days. But Lazarus, I want you to come out of the grave. My God, I need 25 of y'all. And I know you feel like you've been dying these last couple of days. But I'm here to let you know that God's about to resurrect you. My God. Somebody shout hallelujah. I need to grab hold of your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, God's about to resurrect me. So he looks at this dirt that's dead. And God likes to work with dead situations. And sometimes it's not what you've done to make your situation dead. It's not what you've done to make your situation bad. It's not what you've done. It's not God getting any payback. You know, sometimes we think, we start thinking about stuff. Well, God, am I in this place because five years ago when I wasn't saved, I did this? Or when I slipped up and did Is this your payback? God says, no, this is not my payback. What I'm trying Trying to show you is that I'm still a God that can bring you out. You never read about that man that was blind. Everybody was trying to find out. Well, is he blind from birth because his mama sinned? Did his daddy sin? God said, no, ain't nobody sinned. I want to show you that I'm a healer. That's why you got sick. I want you to see that there's a God that could heal you. That's why you flatlined because I want you to see that there's a God that could resurrect you. That's why you're going through because I want you to see that there's a God that can bring you out. That's why you went broke because when God do it this time, you will know that it wasn't your degree. You know it ain't your education, but it's God that can bring you out of it. Somebody ever saw hallelujah. Uh, the Bible says that he will supply all of your need according to his riches and glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. You ought to put your hands together and give God a praise and shout thank you Jesus. Sometimes we're trying to figure it out. Lord, why are you allowing this to happen to me? I know that you said this. Pastor done told me this. My God, I'm still waiting on that. But God, what is going on? God said, I want to use you as an example. And I don't know about you, but there's somebody that I know in the Bible that God used as an example. His name is Job. Job was used as an example. And I know, hallelujah, we read and read, we look through the pages and say, well, why in the world did God do this? And then the Bible says that this man was upright and perfect. And sometimes we're trying to figure it out. Lord, I've been doing good. I've been fasting. I'm trying, yeah, you fasting so you can get strength for what's going to happen. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Sometimes we don't know why. Why am I fasting? God, why are you calling me to this place? God said, well, I want to prepare you so you can be built. You know they call them, them foes. They say they built for tough. God said, I want you to be built. God tough. So then when the wind blow, when the rain comes, when the storm comes, you say, well, I'm built, God. There's nothing that could break me. There's nothing that could stop me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You got your neighbors and neighbor. I say, but God, that makes me stronger. That's why the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. The Bible says that God is a strong tower. And the righteous, they, they run in there and they find out that there's safety in the strong tower. Anybody know God to be a strong tower? Anybody know God to be your strength? I know you think you're strong. I know you think you're big and bad. But it's really God. God is the one that's strengthening you. It's God that's holding you. You're trying to figure out how in the world are you getting that good sleep that night? It's God that's doing it. It ain't you. It ain't that melatonin. It ain't none of that. It's God. Somebody shout out. You know, sometimes you'll try to figure it out and say, well, Lord, I know I'm going to try taking me some sleeping pills so I can get some good sleep that night. I said, no, 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 baby. I'm going to rock you. I'm going to clean you. You're trying to figure out how in the world and I'm getting through it. Baby, it's God because God is right. You're trying to figure out how are you still moving? How am I still making? How am I still pressing? Well, baby, it it was God. Somebody say hallelujah. I need to grab the name of heaven and say, no, it was God. It was God. It was God. It was God. 
Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, no, no. Jesus is the true baby. It's not your alarm clock. It's not your therapy session. I know you. I know you're going down there to the therapist. I know you're going down there trying to seek counsel. It ain't no counsel that's doing it for you. It's God that's doing it for you. It ain't the medicine that's sickening you. It's God. I know you're depending on your psychologist and your psychiatrist, but there's a man that's above that, and his name is Jesus, and he'll break you out without the medicine. He'll break you out. Somebody ever said hallelujah. My God, I know we get caught up and say, well, God, you're not moving fast enough. Those folks down there in John chapter 11, go to John 11, hallelujah. Lazarus died. And they started tripping. Said, Lord, if you would have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. But they don't know God is a God. He still would have let him die just to show you that he's able to resurrect him. The Bible says that in this moment, hallelujah, Lazarus is now dead, and Jesus was in another city, and Jesus took his time to get there, and you're trying to figure out why is God doing everything for everybody else, and he hasn't come down your road just yet. You know what? One thing about God is that he just, my God, the Bible talks about God, and, and it talks about how he waited and tarried and then brought somebody back to life. Look at your name and say, neighbor, God hasn't done it for me yet because he's saving the best. My God, I mean, 25 and one. Look at your name and say, he's saving the best for last. I know you got yours already. That's because you ain't the best. But baby, when it come down to me, you got said, I'm going to say the best for last. Somebody say hallelujah. And I don't know about you, but amen, when I was younger, I used to get bills. Amen. And sometimes I ain't pay them on time. Amen. Y'all talk to me. Y'all done been there before. Don't look at me like that. I ain't always have a secretary to make sure my stuff get on time. Had some bills that didn't get paid on time. And those bills, when they didn't get paid on time, they gave me an extra thing on there because it was late. So I had to pay extra because it was late. So I feel like when there's a delay in what God said that he was going to do. He said, when I do it, and this is why Joel did not just get everything back, but the Bible said that he got double because there was a late notice. My God. It was a late notice on his sheep coming back. It was a late notice on his cattle coming back. It was a late notice on his family coming back. So God put a, a late notice on it and said, you know what? Since you waited so long, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. Anybody know God to do that? Oh, I know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know God to do double. God can do all things. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your name and say, name there. Jesus is the tomb raider. He's coming to your situation. I'm talking to somebody in here today. He's coming to your situation. He's coming down there. He's about to pull you out of that dark place. Jesus, he's the tomb raider. He's going in your tomb. He's going in that closet. He's going in that pain. He's going in that frustration. He's going in that oppression. He's going in that depression. He said, I'm coming. I'm pulling you out of there. My God, I need to stand up real quick and grab somebody by the arm and say, neighbor, I'm pulling you out of there. My God, God's about, come on, pull somebody. Say, God's about to pull you out of there. Uh, somebody say, hallelujah. You had a trouble, I say, you coming out. Uh, and when you come out, go sit there and look cute. When you come out, go sit there and look all good. You ought to praise God. Yeah, God. Somebody say, hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Y'all be seated. John chapter 11, verse number 1. And a certain man was sick. Named Na Lazarus uh -huh. of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. 
When Jesus heard that. Now he listen. Listen how they come to him. <laughs> y'all got to know, and some of y'all, if y'all got friends and you know they're going through, and they're going through some death cycles, they're going through that heaviness, you need to talk to God for them. Lord, your daughter down there sick. Lord, your son down there sick. Y'all ain't talking. Lord, your son down there depressed. Lord, your daughter down there depressed. Your daughter down there going through it. Some of y'all so selfish. Y'all see people going through it. Don't talk. Don't talk to God. You walk right by him. Bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Learn how to go to people and say, listen, you coming out of that situation. I don't care if they got an attitude with you, don't want to move, you grab and say, are you coming out of this? And I don't care, see, I am my sister's keeper. I am my brother. I don't care how mad you get when I grab your arm and dance. I don't care how mad you get if I'm trying to run you around the church and you don't feel like being here. I don't care nothing about that. You gonna come out of this depression. You gonna come out of this depression. You coming out of the grave. You coming out of the grave. Somebody saw how to do you. Because your neighbor said, neighbor, you coming out of that pit. I don't care if your brothers put you there like Joseph, but one thing about Joseph, he came out that pit and he went to the top. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Somebody said, how did you do it? We got somebody say you went down because you're about to go up. I don't know if you know anything about a spring system, but the harder it's pressed down, the farther it pops up. Somebody said, how did you do In your, in your pen, amen, inside a pen that clicks, the ability for it to be pressed down and pop up is something in there called a spring. And you press it down, it goes down, but in order for it to pop up, you got to press it down again. And you got to press it down a little further in order for the pop up. My God, I wish I had a few of y'all. See, when it goes down, y'all look now. When it goes down, it stops right there. But when you want it to come up, you got to press it all the way. God. You got to put that thing in the grave and all. My God, somebody said hallelujah. In order for the pop up, it got to go all the way down. It got to be buried. And because some of y'all are serious, my God. The reason why you're going through is because you're a seed. And in order for the seed to pop up, I kind of depressed in the ground. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your name and your name. I don't know if you're being stomped on right now. I don't know if you're being spit on right now. But the reason why you're in the ground is because you're about to pop up. My God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your name and your name. You better to come up off the ground. You might as well turn that devil na 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 na. I'm coming out to grow. I'm coming up, and when I come up, I'm stronger. When I come up, I'm built for this. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. One thing, my God. You put a seed in the ground. See, press. You can break it. See, you can pinch it and peel it, but once it go in that ground and it come out that ground, it's stronger than it's ever been. So, watch this. <coughs> when you look at a seed, you can throw a seed up and slap it. You can slap a seed and it'll fly. But once it goes in the ground and it becomes a tree, you go down there and slap that tree and see who go which way. So now when I become a tree, I become repellent. Meaning that if something's trying to run up against me, it's coming back down. It don't matter if it's a car, it don't matter if it's a truck, it don't matter how big it is, my God. The bigger you are, the 
God and you fall. And when you're dealing with me and you feel the mind against you, you are up against this, you're falling down. That's why the Bible says, touch not my anointing and do my prophet. No. My God, somebody saw him in the So now we got this big hard tree. My God, I don't know if you ever hit a tree before. But I've seen accidents. Big truck accidents. Car accidents. Running into a tree. The car didn't win. That's why I learned that the Bible says that there's no weapon. My God, I wish I had a few of y'all that went through some stuff this year. I wish there was a few of y'all that been through some stuff this week. I wish there was a few of y'all that just been through some stuff a couple of days ago. There's no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. It can run up against you, but baby, it ain't gonna work. It can be thrown at you, but it ain't gonna work. Look at your neighbor and say, it ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna work. I don't tell you, I'm gonna turn into a tree. And when I come out the ground, I don't care. You can be like the big bad wheel. You can hop, you can pop, but you will not. You can't be a shadow. I don't care how hot your breath is. I don't care who you are. It doesn't matter. You can be the big bad wolf, but you can't take me down. Somebody shout hallelujah. You want to put your hands together and give God a place of some glory. Read, uh-huh. When Jesus heard that, he said, this sickness is not unto death. This sickness. Can I tell you something? What you're going through, it's not unto death. I know it feel like you're dying, but what you're going through, it's not unto death. I need to prophesy to your neighbor and say, neighbor, what you're going through is not unto death. You look at the wrong person. They ain't going through nothing. Look at somebody else. <laughs> Say, neighbor, yeah. what you're going through is not unto death. In other words, you ain't going to die like that. You will not die in depression. You will not die in oppression. You will not die in a man with a sick spiritual life. You will not die addicted to that. You will not die flipping on this. God is going to bring life to your situation. Somebody say, how to do it? I need to shout life, 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 life. Life, 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 God, look at your man and say, you will live, my God, look at him again and say, you will live, you will not die, you're not going to die in that condition, you're not going to die broke, beat down and disgusted, God's going to cause you to live. Somebody say, look at your man and say, I believe what you say, that's why I'm clapping my hand, because I'm affirming, I clap and I'm going to live, I'm going to live. Oh, live, I'm living, I'm living. I'm living, I'm living. I'm living, I'm living. I'm living. My God, I'm living. I won't die like this. My God. You better think about that woman with the issue of blood. She said, you know what? I will not die like this. Even if I got to lay on the ground. Even if I got to crawl to it. Even if I got to get dirty. Even if I got to get ugly. I'm going to it because I want to live. Somebody say, I'm living, I'm living. I'm living, I'll get down. I'll get dirty. I'll I'll get the best up, but I'll go around. Look at some nice hand we have a roll in our sea to the shot. I'm gonna live. Glory to God. Glory to God in our sire. Go. Glory to God in our sea. Glory to God. I'm gonna live. Look at somebody say, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living. Let me get y'all out of here. Read, uh-huh. Come on. That's a empty, I must. Oh, my, my, my.
Glory, glory, glory. Come on, read, uh-huh. But for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. So, Glory. Glory. When Jesus heard this, he said, This sickness is not unto death for the glory of God. Uh huh. That the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Jesus finds out, but he still tarries. He makes him wait. So God may be letting you wait in that situation, but still while you're waiting, just know he's on the way. Look at somebody and say, God is on the way. He's on the way. He's on the way. He's on the, I know you've been waiting. I know you've been tarrying. I know you've been fasting. I know you've been praying. But God is on the way. He's on the way. Look at somebody and say, he's on the way. He's on the way. He's on the way. He's on the way. And can I say this? It don't matter how long he take, as long as he get here. See, as long as I know, even if I taste death, my God, even if I get a feeling of it, it can't last always. My God, somebody shout hallelujah. In this situation, death can't last always. Just like trouble, it can't last always. Because the Bible says that weeping may endure, my God. It says it's contingent because it says it may. My God, somebody shout hallelujah. It may endure for the night, but there's joy that's coming. And I want you to know that joy is on the way. Look at somebody say joy is on the way. Come on, you ought to rejoice. Joy is on the way, joy. Joy is on the way. While I'm feeling this, I can't preach no more. Come on, everybody come up here. I want to. Joy is on the way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Joy. 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 Joy, 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 joy. Joy, 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 joy. Joy, 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 joy. Joy, 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 hallelujah. My mouth shot. Hallelujah. Oh, my mouth shot. Glory, glory, glory. My mouth shot. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are we? Come on, I'm gonna live. I'm not dying. I'm gonna live. Where am I, son? No more hope, son. Where are we? Hey, I'm not alone by my side. Where are we? Come on, I need y'all to start praising God. I'm on my side, double hope, son. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you! Thank you! Glory, 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 glory! Ta 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 God is doing it. Glory, glory, glory. 
Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Oh my son, no, 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 no,
Lord, I'm coming out of my dark place. Shut up. Glory. I'm coming out. Coming out of my darkness. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Thank you. Touch here on the Lamba Kosa. Glory. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my. 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 Thank you, thank you. Come on, come on, thank you. Oh, my, 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 son. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, 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 yeah. Thank you, God. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I praise you. Oh, my, yeah, double who. Lord, I praise you. Yes, I, ta, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yes, he, I'm double who, yeah. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank you, God. Hey, yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. 